Hi guys! I have done it on the French version and the German version, and so I will do it in the English version. This is for six shooter, for wide RC, and for pain in the RC, and uh, drug uh, 345, and uh, add a gap for you. That's it, toy gap. Anytime I forget these names. Ready? Here's the X Max Monster Energy Monster X. I have done this because I want to try the 1650 kV Monster X 1 6 scale system in the X Max. So I take a green one because it's the best what match the motor color. I take Monster Energy sticker sets. So because I find it funny that all is in one. We have here uh, not a pro body, body it's uh, from Elsass. This is my country RC bodies. He has made take a stock X Max and have make some change in the line here, and I really like it. Underneath, we have the green X Max, but with some modification. We have the reinforced arms from Traxxas. I have tried on my blue one, I have the orange arms and these arms are really, really better than the stock ones. The stock ones are good. Um, we have some issue with cold weather with the original one on hard hits. Not like on the Armour Crate Nades where when it's under 10 degree you always lose your the whole tire because not of something is loose, but because the arm breaks. Uh, that's for six shooter. <laughs> I love my X third. He loves his big flat flop, the Cradenades. And this is the way how he goes. This is not uh, why, because we fight together. We always love together. Even if we are not according what uh, is the best RC in this size, for me it's still the X-Max, for him is the Great Nades. And um, I don't know if it will happen today, but it will be funny to can drive together. <laughs> yeah. But I have to put my ass in the flight uh, to go to America. I can take my X-Max with me and I will uh, buy uh, in the USA some battery to drive <laughs> because I cannot go with the airplane and the lipos in the <laughs> so I also have take the little green washer is here it's just for custom important for me for driving harder with this stuff is to have the alloy front bulkheads here that really protect the whole bulkhead to be destroyed by hard hits in the front and underneath here, under the skid plates, I have the GPM alloy plate, also just in the front. I don't not uh, reinforce the rear uh, because it happens so not not so many times that you land hard on the on the, the back from the truck. So I just reinforce the front. The RPM front skid plate, uh, not skid plate, but bumper holder here is also nice and cool. I drive without, without, in a year I destroy maybe three times the uh, bumper mount. With that one I just destroy it one time. So it's really way better. In the rear I don't use it because we have the stock really bar protect really well the, bear, the back from the car. I have the stock servo, but with the steel gearing in there, because we're gonna make an experience with this one. The first of I have the Louis AC tires on 150 scale, who are smaller and lighter than the stock ones, so less stress on the steering. That's why I don't need uh, the better servo. And the Monster XESC 1.6 scale system can be rated to 7.4 volts. So I will, I have here done it. I pull 7.4 volt on the stock servo. It's way faster and it go way better. But keep in mind to change your radio system. The Traxxas receiver don't can hold 7.4 volts. And I don't need no AVC or something, so I put my spectrum uh, receiver in there, so I can go to 9 volt. It's not a problem, 
and we want to see if this little motor will hold on or not. Then I have the Mamba Monster X 1650 kV in the track with the sensor here wire on. Uh, I just have uh, to program here the turbo mode and something. For mount the motor in the truck, I use uh, from Model Bar Metz in Germany the motor mount. You can get in USA or England or in China some different kind of motor mounts, but they are all rated for big one fifth scale motor, so uh, you are too bright to put the Kessel motor in. I will show you with the stock motor here, the Spectrum, here I have the Spectrum motor. The holes are not fit. You see, you have no room to put the motor on. With this one I can do it. I also put the stock motor heatsink, because I really like this heatsink. To put it on the Monster XCSC, always I have to cut a part out let the wire on the side to not to pro to avoid that the uh, heatsink here hits the, the the contact here because it's clear if the heatsink which is uh, made of from alloy go back and touch here the, the wires you will have a thousand amp uh, point uh, forget the name um, you will melt something, it's clear, with 1000 Ampere, <laughs> out, the game is out. <laughs> so, have I forget something? No. I have the stock shocks, I uh, let the spring go full down, so I'm not too high, I will drive it in the field and on the road. For the road I will drive the SC Rocket or the MCD R5 tires, we already done it, you see drive the Street Max had a 46 main gear and a 22 pinions and we drive it 90 km an hour with the GTs on road. It was really fun because this truck is not heavy. Uh, a heavy part for the truck are the tires and with the MCD tires the truck has only 9 kg with the batteries. Uh, with ADS on road it was just fine to drive. You still have a high ground clearance um, but it was funny. All you have to do, if you use the SC Lewis tires here on it, or uh, Rowan or something else, is to take care, here I let the stock screws in, you have the stock screws who are going to re rub on your A-arms or you steering. So you have to pull it out and put some bottom screws here, some bottom screws in the rim, just in the front, and where there's no issue, sure, you will not touch it. In the front also I use the Proline shock shafts, who are way tougher than the stock one. Uh, it's the first time I mount it. I will see what happens with the plastics. Uh, I know the Proline plastics are not so good in the stock tracks ones. I know it because many people try it for me, but I want to try that stock shaft. If I have an issue with this uh, ball ends from the from Proline I will use some MCD 1 5th scale or Lozy 5th scale ball ends and uh, find a way to bolt it on. In the rear I'm stuck, if something happens I have still the front shock shaft to mount, the original shock shaft from the front to mount in the rear if something happened. But I never bent a rear shock shaft that makes max. Really most of the time I destroy something in the front because I'm not the best driver and uh, I always want to try something new and the most of the time until you can make your jump or your uh, scale racer, the uh, high scale race style, uh, it goes wrong because no one is good without breaking something before. <laughs> So, you will soon see this car drive when the weather is wet and uh, when the sun is shining because I have many X-Max and um, this is one I not want to um, put in too much mud but I always say that in the beginning and after 10 minutes, 20 minutes driving or one or two battery pack uh, suddenly 
I get crazy! <laughs> and I send my thing to the moon. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with the heat with this motor. I have uh, the stock gearing on there 1854. Uh, it's too much if I would drive the stock tires, but we have here the smaller and lighter tires, so I will see what happens. If it's too much, I will gear down and also we'll program the car so it's uh, with a little bit too over timing for the straight line. I don't want to drive too fast. If I reach the 70 km an hour on the straight line, I will be happy and it will be enough. Next, we will see is the red one here. I will make some different setup than this one. Uh, but it's not done yet, so be patient, it will come. And the blue one, we also get uh, some other stuff. So I have each from one color in the... Um, no, I just miss an orange one. That means I have to buy one more. <laughs> Bye guys.